Are you thinking about selling your house, but you looked on Zillow and noticed the Zestimate is far lower than you think it should be? So stay tuned right now because I've got a few tips to show you how to increase it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Linda Whitcomb with William Ravis Real Estate, a realtor right here on Cape Cod. So you're thinking about selling and saw that Zillow's Zestimate is way off. What can you do? Well, let me go over a few things with you right now. So first, let me start by saying that the Zestimate by Zillow is inaccurate 95% of the time. Zillow uses data from tax records, assessor's records, our MLS reports also, and property sold in your area. Zillow does not know that you remodeled your bathroom, your kitchen, or took off the nasty old deck on the back and put up a beautiful screened-in sunroom. Zillow has no idea how to measure any of this. Therefore, how could they possibly be correct in their Zestimate, right? What it does not take into account, the proximity to your home to say a highway or a body of water or the neighbor's proximity to the highway or a body of water. That your property is on a beautiful level lot with, with wooded trees in the backyard. Where your neighbor's house that sold four doors down could have been on a very deep sloping lot that abuts some wetlands. Zillow has no idea of this. Zillow does not know your home. Zillow has never been in your home. Having said that, many buyers that look at your home also will look at Zillow and they'll say, you know, they're, they must be greedy. They're asking too much. Um, and you may get lowball offers if you don't take the time to evaluate what every buyer goes to first, which is Zillow, right? and adjust and make sure that your home is accurate in all of the details and all the updates that you know that you can have your Zestimate be as close to market value as it should be. Okay, you're probably saying, let's get to it. How do we do this? So here we go. I'm gonna switch over and screen share with you exactly how to walk through Zillow as an owner and make the changes and click all the right boxes and any updates so that you can increase your Zestimate just by having more accurate information in it. So here we go. The first thing you're going to do is go on Zillow and type in your address. I'm going to use a property that I recently sold right here on Cape Cod. Okay. When you get here, Zillow is going to say that it's recently sold or it's off the market. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the owner view. See my cursor? Click on the owner view. When you click on the owner view, it's going to show um, some information. It's, go it's going to say edit facts. See this right here? Edit facts. You're going to click on edit facts. Once you get into the edit fact, it says home facts right here, you're going to want to go through and make sure the number of bedrooms are right, bathrooms, the square footage. When I did this on my own home, the square footage was off by 800 square feet. Okay. You know, that's valuable real estate, no pun intended, but it is. Lot size, the year that it was built, you want to, if there's HOA fees, Put that in there and make sure the amount is correct either on a yearly or monthly basis and then go through all of these boxes and click dishwasher microwave things that you know to be the case i in this property originally the owner did not have that the central air it had central air it didn't have any ac well there's certainly value in that too so you want to go through all of these check boxes the basement's finished unfinished all of these things have a value to it. Once you go through all of this, the type of home, um, whether there's a deck or a patio, for example, I mentioned earlier, 
I had one Zillow say that there was a deck on this house and there wasn't. It actually had a beautiful screened in porch, which added about $20,000 to their Zestimate. When I did it for this home and did, went through all of these boxes, when I was done and when you're done, and these in fact are photos of the property, but when you're done, click finish. And within a day or up to 30 days, you can see a change in your Zestimate. This particular home had about a $30,000 increase in its Zestimate just by doing this. So as you can see in about five minutes flat, this property increased its Zestimate by $30,000. It's worth your five minutes to do so, wouldn't you agree? So you really should have a valid Zestimate to justify your asking price. That's the key. And then hopefully, if your Zestimate bumps up, we can use it in your marketing. Say, hey, look at I'm, I'm marketing and selling this property now for less than its Zestimate, for example. It's a marketing tool and a strategy that many homeowners may not be aware of. And it's a tip that you can't afford to miss. If you're having any trouble, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here for you. I am a local Cape Cod agent, but I'm also here to help you through getting your Zestimate correct no matter where you're located. I can be reached down below by email. And if you like this video and would like to see others, please subscribe below or like this one, or please feel free to make a comment. Again, thanks for watching. Bye now.